talk about a little GMO news. Headline, GMO alert. Eating GM wheat may destroy your liver, warn scientists. This one from our friend Mike Adams. Jack Hyman, biologist, said he has polished an eye-opening report that details this warning and calls for rigorous scientific testing on animals before this crop is ever consumed by humans. The enzyme suppressor in wheat, he says, might also attack a human enzyme that produces glycogen. Consumers who eat genetically modified wheat would end up contaminating their bodies with this enzyme destroying wheat, causing their own livers to be unable to produce glycogen, a hormone molecule that helps the body regulate blood sugar metabolism. Continuing. What we have found is that the molecules created in the sweet intended to silence wheat genes can match human genes and through ingestion, these molecules can enter human beings and potentially silence our genes, said Heinemann. So yet another reason not to eat GMOs. And for our new viewers, GMOs are genetically modified organisms, are foods that are pretty much made in, you know, laboratories and basements or wherever they make them, opposed to the good foods that grow out of the ground. But even some of the good foods that grow out of the ground have been contaminated by companies like Monsanto. And one of the things these big companies like Monsanto are trying to do is they don't want you to know that you're eating genetically modified foods. So what they're doing is they're trying to push a campaign where they don't have to label their food as being genetically modified. And if that concerns you like it concerns me, you should take a look at Proposition 37 that's actually coming out of California. It's a proposition that would force big companies like Monsanto to label their food as being genetically modified. And I think that's a very good thing for everybody. And actually, for some more news on that, we just had Linda Weston here a second ago. But she did a great report where she talked about genetically modified organisms. The report is titled, Media Cultivates GMO Lies. But well, she had a chance to interview Anthony Gucciardi. And speaking of Anthony Gucciardi, we have a story from him. U.S. and China caught secretly testing GMO rights on children. That's right. The United States Department of Agriculture, in alliance with the Chinese government, have instead chosen to secretly test their latest GMO rights on young Chinese children. Continuing. Greenpeace is calling for a stop to the trials, which are reportedly continuing in the field. Citing health and environmental risk, Greenpeace says that the studies are taking place on roughly 24 children, aged between 6 and 8 years old. It has also been said that the parents likely were completely unaware or misinformed. So we see here attacks on our young, innocent children, even if they're Chinese children, we see these young kids that you know, look up to these uh, guardians and say, hey, Johnny, eat this corn and say, OK. So now they're eating this GMO corn. They're being tested on. It's not right. And as the article pointed out, many of the parents were either misinformed or completely unaware that this was going on. But it reminded me of an article that was published last year, this from Natural News, USDA to allow Monsanto to perform its own GMO studies. The USDA has a solution to allow a biotech industry to conduct the studies itself. This means that Monsanto and other biotech companies will decide whether to approve their own products. That's the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. How can you let a company approve their own products? If you're a hot dog vendor and you want to sell hot dogs in the city of Austin, or at least in the city of Tulsa, I know you have to go get a license to do it, but they let these big companies approve their own products. So I guess that's how the USDA justifies their action. Well, Monsanto, they get to check their own stuff, so at least we'll test it, even though if we go test it on poor little Chinese kids, at least we're testing it. So disgusting action from Monsanto and the USDA. Oh, man, GMO, it's not a good deal. Read up on it, find out about it, and do what you can to get it out of your life permanently. Moving on. U.S. totalitarianism loses major battle as judge permanently blocks NDAA's military detention provision. Chris Hedges sued President Obama in the recently passed National Defense Authorization Act, specifically challenging the legality of the authorization for use of military force. Continuing, when in a 112 opinion, Judge Forrest turned the temporary injunction following an appeal by the totalitarian government from August 6th into a permanent one. The permanent injunction prevents the U.S. government from enforcing a portion of Section 1021 of the National Defense Authorization Act's Homeland Battlefield Provisions. For those of you who are not familiar with the NDAA, it basically gives the president dictatorial powers where they can arrest, uh, black bag, disappear, anybody they want, no judge, no jury, no due process. So if Obama doesn't like your haircut, 
even if you do trust Obama, even if you do trust guys like Romney or whoever, do you know who the president's going to be three presidents from now? Are you going to trust that guy with such an incredible power? And we see here, if we look back at the article, there are many people who don't. One of the people being FBI Director Robert Mueller. He said that he was against the NDAA, or at least this one provision of the article, Section 1021, because it would make it harder for him to prosecute the people he needs to look at. So the FBI director says, hey, if all these people are being disappeared into these black bags to, to get more wherever they are, we're not going to be able to solve our crimes because we don't have them to question. So at least somebody has some sense. I mean, I don't support everything the FBI does, but at least this guy seems to know what's going on. He doesn't want people to be black bag to, to get mo where they make you run around naked and take pictures with chickens. You guys have seen those pictures. The only thing that are, that's missing is a giant owl and a couple redwood trees. Some weird stuff going on there at Guantanamo Bay. But, hey, I guess that's the new America. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.